Hello again, everyone. Okay, so today I um, I got a small package from Texas Jim. I sent him an ass uh, about a week or so ago, and I also sent him this fault list to make me a challenge lock wood, and he was kind enough to do that for me. Um, I haven't picked one of his locks yet. This is going to be the first one that I picked of his locks. I've seen a ton of his locks out there. I mean, he's a really great challenge lock maker, and he's an awesome picker. I mean, he blows through locks, I and mean, he picks right through them, like, like so fast. Um, so, he also sent me a couple other locks. Um, they're all quick set keyways. Um, this one here is actually a quick set. And they do hang up a little bit, you know, so I'm pretty sure these are challenge locks too. In, in fact, I'm positive they are. Um, so, and this one here is a six pin. And this one here hangs up, I mean, really good. So, I know there's some pretty nastiness in this lock. Yeah. So anyways, um, I opened up the package today just before work. I just grabbed the mail, and I was getting ready for work. And it's funny, because I got a comment from and Randy, and he asked me, he said if I was, um, he said, what, am I afraid to uh, blind pick a lock, you know? And I am a new picker, so yeah, I mean, opening up a package and then just grabbing a challenge lock, um, maybe if there was a padlock in there or something, I'd probably do it. But I've never picked one of Jim's locks. I know he makes awesome challenge locks. So, yeah, I was a little paranoid, maybe. But I was also getting ready for work, and I didn't have time to actually sit down and, you know, make the film. And it takes me a good hour or so with my movie maker to put these up. Well, I just got out of work. It, now it's about 3 o'clock in the morning, um, and I haven't stuck a pick in any one of these locks yet. So yeah, Randy, I am going to try to blind pick this one, and if I fail, I mean, I guess, you know, like um, uh, Red Eye and Pick Me says, you know, uh, keep it real, I guess. If I fail, I fail. I'll try to get it in a decent amount of time. If I don't get it quick enough, I'll just call it a failure. And uh, yeah, I mean, not everybody gets in the lock the first time. So I'm going to pick this one, because this is one I sent them, and this is a five pinner, and it seems to hang up the least out of all three so I will try this one <clears throat> this is the bidding on it um, let's see if I get this focus in yeah I mean it's not too bad but knowing what Jim put in there you know um, there is well I don't know it's not that bad anyways but we're gonna see if we get into it like I said I'm pretty sure Jim put some nastiness in this one too anyway so he did pick this, um, but I really don't remember the pins that were in it. And I kind of wish I did, actually. But, um, yeah, we're going to try to get it open for you. And uh, hopefully this won't take too long. Make a long video out of it. Um, yeah, it's a quick set keyway. I think I could use bottom of the keyway because i got to come off this ledge anyways. So... We'll use the bottom of the keyway, and I think I will start with my Sparrow's short hook. Let's see if we get in there with that. If I can, I'll change picks. Alright, so one is actually binding. Getting some con rotation. Okay, I got a click out of him. Two is springy. Got a little click from three. And I don't think I could get at four or five with this pick. I think I'm gonna have to change picks already. I don't I'm getting a little bit out of two there. Yeah, I don't think I could reach those back ones though. Hopefully I could get I got a deep hook from sparrows and maybe I could get it in there, I hope. Okay, I'm not sure if this is four or three. I've got counter rotation. Got a little bit from him. No, maybe I didn't get him. No, oh, still didn't get him. Oh, <laughs> all right, and we're already open. All right, so either, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I did rub against the back pins. All right, Jim. Yeah, well, thank you. F thank you for taking it kind of easy on me. You did say 
you think you made it medium, um, I do have the key for this, so I'll lock it up. All right, let's see what he put in it anyway. Um, get this to light up a little bit better for you. There we go. That is my phone, I found out. The lighting goes in and out. And I'm going to bring this awesome pinning tray from Steel Pinnings. And this one has one of these. I think this one will fit, too. I hope. Maybe. Maybe not. It does fit some of them. Some that don't. And this one, I don't think it's going to fit. All right, well, we're going to get it off anyway. Let me move the rest of this stuff. Um, poke that with this, I guess. Seems like that fits less than, you know, I should be fitting more of these backs, but I think I've only fitted in one back so far. We should shim it because knowing Jim, um, if I have it shim handy, yes, I do. All right, I'm gonna try to take my time a little bit with this one. Um, I need to slow down on these and do these right without messing them up. Try to show you everything that's going on. All right, so it is five pins, of course, and hmm, looks like we got a lot of like spools, maybe, on the top. All right, let's see what it is. In one, it's a double spool. I'll show you the pin when I get them out. This is like serrated, double spool, serrated maybe. I'm not that great with um, still naming these pins, guys. So. These all kind of look the same, the double spools. That's a spool. And these are either, <clears throat> I'll show you one real quick here. I'll show you a double. I'm pretty sure that's spool and not serrated, but that might be serrated. Uh, let me see if I get that to focus. Sorry. at the same time. I don't know if I can do that. All right, here we go. Yeah. He's got two or three of those in the key pins. All right. Let's see what he's got upstairs in the Bible. Oh, well, here, real quick, let's check this core. Yeah, he threaded, <coughs> excuse me, he threaded all five in the core. Nice deep threads, too. All right. I'm going to try to catch these pins with my follower. And try to pinch them in there. Sorry, I'm hitting everything with my feet here. My tripod. Focus that in a little bit for you right there. All right. Let's see. stuck in there. That one's got to be definitely threaded. That's a double spool. Ooh. With a very sharp edge on the top. That came out like that. I'm going to aim that down. Okay, number two. Oh, looks like another one. 
Definitely serrated and a spool on top maybe that came out like that. I'm going to show you guys these pins, man. These are awesome pins. I cannot believe I got it open that quick. I think that's an acetite pin. I think that's what I heard them call that. All right. Hey, that seems to be working. I think Artemis uh, Picks told me about how to get these pins out a little bit better. That's definitely a sharp serrated. That came out like that. And pin five is another, I don't know, maybe like a Christmas tree, they call that, maybe. Very sharp edge on the top. That came out like that. Um, I'm not sure if these springs will be all the same or not. Let me pull a couple out and we'll look. On pin one. So definitely one is threaded. Yeah, we're going to want to look at these. The two is low. It's a small spring in there. I can't get that one out either. Here it comes. That's number three. Yeah, so the springs are different too. I believe that's a steel one. Must it all steel? Let me do it this way. I need a dental pick for this. Come on out of there. That's five. I think they're all the same, really. Pretty much. Yeah. Alright guys, I'll try to give you a close-up of these pins, but let's look in here real quick first. He's definitely got some threading going on. Yep, <clears throat> he's threaded all the chambers in the Bible too. I don't know if you can see that. Can't even get it to focus for you. Well, anyways, they're all threaded. Um, here, let me move that for a second. I'll drop this stuff, and move those. So I'll give you a little bit closer up with these pins. I don't want to mess with my phone because I keep shutting it off. Oops. Let me put that pin back. Where are my tweezers? This one was right there. Alright. Yeah, those are some awesome pins, uh, Jim. Look at those serrations on those guys. Really sharp edges. Most of them are serrated, I guess. Um, yeah. There you go. A Texas lock, Jim. Uh, Jim. <coughs> Texas Jim. You guys, like I said, he's an awesome picker and a great challenge lock maker. Um, if you haven't seen any of his videos, please go check him out. Um, you'll love it. He's real quick with opening up his locks. And as you can see, um, I think he made most of those pins, if not all of them. Uh, except for maybe the Asa, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, if you guys uh, like this video, um, please subscribe, and for uh, if you have any comments, comment below, and if, for everybody else, uh, if you don't have their permission, don't open it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, one more thing, real quick. This is a safety uh, thing for you guys. Um, I bought, let me fix this camera real quick for you. I bought these la lights from Home Depot to try to fix my, uh, no, excuse me, Lowe's to try to fix my lighting a little bit better. One of these light bulbs the other day, just after I got done filming, blew up in my uh, office here, in my wife's office too. We both share this office. My grandson actually plays in here. I shut the light off. I didn't even get to the bottom of the stairs, and it sounded like a shotgun went off in here, and there was glass everywhere. It took me a few hours to clean this up. And I'm still trying to contact them about this. I already um, talked to them at Lowe's. They were kind enough actually to give me $10 light bulbs. Um, but yeah, you guys stay away from these. Um, they're very extremely dangerous. So yeah, a little safety tip. All right. Again, thanks guys. Um, be safe out there. Don't buy those bulbs. Bye.